Welcome, welcome, Dallas ISD. We got Coach DD. And Coach D. Hey, we got this great partner workout today. Workout number four, partner workout. So grab some weights, because we're gonna definitely use them today. That's all you need. And if you can grab a partner, make that happen. If, if you don't, it's all good. You can be your own partner and work out for yourself. So we're gonna do 20 exercises today. We're gonna do 45 seconds of work, about 10 seconds of rest, do two rounds, and you can enjoy the remainder of your day. All right, so we're gonna start off with a warm up first. Then we're gonna get to the workout, get a cool down stretch, and you out of here. All right, so we have the warm up. So we're gonna do some basic arm circles first. So we come in here. So think about range of motion. So look up toward the ceiling or the sky if you're outside. Just think about range of motion. Just trying to warm the shoulders up. We're gonna definitely use these shoulders today. In reverse, so go the opposite way. Keep your chest out. Big circle. And then time, so we're gonna go over and under. Love tap, or self hug, as we call it. So over and under. So starting now focusing on your breath. Because once we get into this thing, man, we're gonna be on. Real fun. And next we're gonna go into a reverse lunge. Not really serious. Just bring your arms up to a back bend and then switch legs. So just step out, you don't have to lunge deep. Just stabilize yourself, reach back. We're gonna do one more per side. Make sure you breathe, breathe in. And exhale. And here we have buckets. So we get here. So you have options. You can stay in here. And you can go into it. So you have options. Just bring the heels to the butt. Then we switch up. We have high knees. So you can come here. And you can do it the way Coach D is doing it, working on range of motion. Opposite arm, opposite leg. And time. So we have low toe touch, working the hamstrings real quick. Stretch feet apart, arms up, and reach down. Focus on your breath. Straight legs. If you can, slight bend in the knees. Then bring both hands to your feet. Drop that hand, let your hand hang. <clears throat> Regain your breath. And then from here, come up, but lean with the head and the chin up. Knee hug. So we come in here. Take your time. Let's go for the height. A little small jumping jack. So you don't have to have the hands go overhead. It's a real like a jumping jack snippet. A little quick jack. Got three more. One, two, and three. All right. So we're gonna do next. <clears throat> gonna go ahead and get into it. So grab your weights. Whatever weights you're gonna use, we're gonna use sandbags just to do something different. If you, whatever weight you have available to you, that's what you use. So the first exercise we're gonna do is a squat pulse, all right? So we're gonna do one, we're gonna do 45 seconds of, of this total, but we're gonna do a squat pulse where you're gonna have the weight here, and we're gonna do three pulses, one, two, three, and we're gonna come into a squat jump, one, two, and three. And we're gonna go back and forth. Three squat pulses, three squat jumps, with your weight, 45 seconds, and then we move on to the next one and we guide you through. Two rounds, we out, all right? So we're getting ready to start. 
with the workout. So we got the squat pulse first. So hold your weight however it feels comfortable for you. All right, let's go. Three small pulses. Two and three. And go right back into it. So I'm gonna hold mine up the whole time. Coach D is gonna bring his up when he squats and then down when he does his squat jumps. Make sure your knees are behind your toes. Make sure you breathe, get his abs up. It's called a wide push-up. That means your hands are going to be wider than normal. We're going to do two push-ups, 10 mountain climbers total. All right, let's go. One, two, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. So take your time. It's your workout. You want to modify the knees, modify the push-ups this way. Back to the mountain climb. Five, six, seven, nine, ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we got jumping jacks. I'm gonna do weighted jumping jacks. Coach Z isn't going to use anyway. Nope. So five jumping jacks, two reverse lunges. Let's go. Two, three, four, five. Reverse lunge. We're going to do two per leg. Step back big, knees behind your toes, and back to the jumping jacks after that. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure you breathe through it. Keep the upper body upright. Let's go. Two, three, four, five. Down. We're down on the mat. We have Superman, Superwoman lifts. We're gonna do five of these. Three of these, right? Three. And bicycle sit up. One, two, three. Bring yourself front and back. Three, three. Three per side. And you back. Two, three. And we have nine bicycle crunches. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Back into it. Just going back and forth. Pace yourself. All right, next, grab the weights. We have high knees. Four high knees. I'm going to do mine weighted. Coach D is One, two, three, four. Plank jacks. Plank. Jumping jacks, we have five. Coach D is going high, I'm going low. Let me back up. One, two, three, four. Back down. And we have five. Two, three, four, five. Just going back and forth. Do what's good for you. I'm messing up. It's okay. Delirium happening. Three, four, five. It was good for you, whatever you need. And down. That was round one. Then we back. One more. Huh? One more round. That was round one. Back to the squat pose. The squat jump. Let's go. Okay, make this better than the last time. If it hurts your knee, 
a little cap raise when it comes to the squat jump. But other than that, do what you can. Yeah. These are burning, man. Right. Right, we're down to the push up. Two wide push ups, 10 straight count mountain climbers. Hands wider than normal. Let's go. One, two. Two. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You want to modify the push up on the knees, you can. Do what's good for you. Five, six, eight, nine, ten. Make sure you breathe. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Keep the chin up. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Back to the jumping jacks and the reverse lunge. You can have weight if you want to or not. Let's go. Two, three, four, five. And then two reverse lunges. Make sure your knees are behind your toes. Same five. Last run is the best run. Two, three, four, five. Doing good. Stay with it. We're almost there. Time. Superman lifts. Superwoman lifts. And a bicycle crunch. We're over halfway. Let's go. One, two, three, switch up. And we have nine straight. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey, gaze at the ground. Look at the ground when you do your Superman lift. Bicycle crunch. Keep the lower back on the floor. All right. Last one. High knees, plank jacks. High knees, four, five plank jacks. That was it. That was two rounds of greatness. Two rounds of greatness. We're gonna go into the warm up. I mean, the cool down. See, delirium kicks in, man, when you beat yourself up like that. So we got first, we're gonna do a hamstring stretch. So bring both feet together. Take a breath. Blow out and reach. Let the head hang. You did a great job today. We got some good work in. Great time, great reps, great technique. Whew. 
and then bring your feet apart. Bring your feet apart. So we're here. Both feet down to the ground. And you're gonna hold. Take your time and breathe. Just bring your left hand over to the right. And both hands over to the left. Then turn the toes out. Come into the sumo squat. So chest up. As deep as you can. As you breathe, breathe through it. Try to get a little deeper than last time. Get a deep and stretch. Get from here. Go to the lateral. Learn stretch from here. So keep the heels down. You can have the arms up like Coach D. You can have your hands down to brace yourself. Like I have them. So below the shoulders, then switch sides. Same thing. Take it as deep as you can. And from here, both hands to the ground. Walk the feet out a little bit. So we're here. Bring the left, then bring the right foot over the left heel and drop the heel down. So we're going to the calf stretch. Show you sideways, just in case. So we're here. Try to straighten that left leg out as much as you can. Switch legs. And come down on the knees. So we're here. On your knees. If you can sit on your heels, do so. If you can, don't worry about it. Which is here. Catch up on your breathing. One more big breath. Tricep stretch. So if you want to kneel up, you can do. Try to look up as much as you can. So just for the triceps and bring that same arm across. Bring the cross left and then look right. This is the rear deltoid, the back of the shoulder stretch. Switch arms, tricep stretch with the left. Make sure your glutes are tight when you're in this kneeling position. Always want to activate the glutes and the abs. And bring it on across. Look to the left, rotate to the right. Now we're gonna do for you. For your quads, you to come here. This is an easier way to get the quads if you don't feel comfortable standing up. Just come here, bring the heel to the butt. So keep the chest up and out. Keep the chin up, focus on breathing. And switch legs. Same thing. close out into a child's pose and we'll be done. So try to bring your hands or thumbs together. Drop your head to the floor if you can and butt down to the heel. 
if you can. Do what's good for you and your needs. And we are done. Hey, great workout today. Great partner workout. We appreciate your time. That's workout number four for this series. Thank you, we really appreciate you. We'll be seeing you soon.